Well, hello there, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Naked Times with Scar. Yes, that's right. I am completely naked because I had an encounter, an encounter deep in a dark cave with a creeper who robbed me of all my possessions. That is right. All my possessions are gone. I was killed. I lost all my tools, all of my armor. So I'm taking part in some uh, anti-stress activities, which I find to be quite therapeutic in Minecraft, like chopping down trees, harvesting dirt, mining, and smelting copper. You can tell how stressed out I am by the number of uh, copper blocks that we now have in our inventory. It would have been a whole lot more if we wouldn't have encountered that creeper, but not all is lost to be sure. We're walking down the copper brick road right now. <laughs> Not all is lost. Impulse of the SV has said that our order that we placed in our last episode, you know the order, the armor and tool order, is finally complete. So we could actually start the episode now because all I've been doing is, as you can tell, smelting copper. I am so excited to start this episode out because I've been waiting for this order for a long time and I am super pumped oh wow look at this even totems of undying that might be a little bit of shade at the amount of times that i die but i do appreciate them and what is this thorns 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 and thorns hmm what do the thorns and thorns and thorns do anyway look at that oh my gosh that is actually wild armor oh fortune and silk touch why has this been used somebody's out here be using my pickaxe it's an open box item. Now we actually can't use our hat because our ears are too big. Bam, we are now fully protected. Grab our tools and our thorns and thorns and thorns. Where's my thorns? There's only one last thing I need to do. And that of course is to get myself a shovel and an ax. Because at the time of ordering, I had an ax and a shovel. Hello, have you been named? You have been named, you've been named Pooter. Well, okay then, Pooter it is. That is quite the name. We need to now pay Impulse, and we're gonna pay him with a free landscaping job, which could be a couple trees to a full-blown custom landscape of his dreams. We are opening the Scarred Landscaping Services very, very soon on this season. Hmm, I have been summoned by Grian, which could mean a lot of things. This would happen to be the universal sign of looky looky in my chest. <laughs> Whoa! Dude, that is a lot of copper. Wow. Man, we are not going to be short of copper this season, which makes me super happy for future builds. Would you like to play a prank on Grian? I know you do. Just need to grab a couple materials and we'll be all set. All right, so he's nowhere to be seen. Well, except his head right there. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to siphon off all of his copper via hopper. So we're going to put a hopper under his chest. <laughs> And we're going to suck out all of his copper. Maybe we could even rig this up to our storage system. All right. This should total. Yes, it's working. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Let's hope he doesn't see this. Let's cover this all back up. And then when we get enough hoppers. God, what, are you, what have you done? <laughs> um, um, hello? Hi. Hi, Grian. Hello. How are you? What? What's what's all this? Leaves. Woohoo! I was gonna give you leaves. I, I was harvesting leaves, and I thought, man, you know, Green would love some leaves, wouldn't he? Woo! Look at the leaves, so shiny and green. Well, you, you know, I, I didn't realize that was, that was an apple there because I thought uh, your your hands are red. Oh, my caught. hands are red. No, no. What, what's, where, uh, what are you doing here? What, where are you going? Wow, there's nothing to be seen down there. Honestly, I wouldn't even recommend it. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, just seeing some um, copper leaving the vicinity. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it, yeah, I was expanding your your storage system. It was a surprise. Happy birthday. Uh, okay, you caught me. <laughs> I may have been siphoning off a little bit of your of your copper. <laughs> a little bit? All of it? Well, no, I mean, yeah. Okay, yes, it was all of it. Where did you come from? I thought you were in the nether. I was. I have got myself... <sighs> If I could find it, I've got myself three wither skelly skulls. Oh, wow. There they are. Really? Yep. Yeah, check it out. Uh, I don't see it. I don't see it. You're more disorganized than I am, to be honest with you. Still looking. Still looking. Stop. There's nothing in this box. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at those fancy heads. By the way, Grian, did you know somebody destroyed the Scar Michelin Man that we built at the beginning of the season with the three Scar heads? Oh, yeah. Somebody destroyed it. I don't blame them. It was hideous. It's quite a bit of shame. <laughs> Probably deserve it for trying to steal your copper. Probably. There's th three mattress stores on there. Oh, no, he's back. Well, hello there. 
would you um would you like to join me on a fun adventure to spawn uh one of uh, the Michelin these? scar? Yeah. <laughs> would you like? Oh no, uh, green! No green! No! Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> you were so close, and I wouldn't I really have put it past you. I really want to. Think of pooter. Green. Pooter? Yeah. It's putter. It's pooter. It's not pooter. It's Butter. Peanut butter. It's gonna do it. No, Gray, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, 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 no. oh, 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 pooter. Oh, putter, whatever it was. Oh, oh. Uh. Oh. Okay, Scott, I'll be honest. I had, a, I was like maybe 95% sure that this torch would stop it spawning, but it that's. You know, that's th that's still a 5% chance. <laughs> I'm a little bit dizzy. Thank you for the achievement. Appreciate it. I'm going to hang on to this. Okay. okay no, come on. on let's, go do, let's, go do, let's go do this. Okay. Okay. Where, where are we going to do this? I'm holding on to this, by the way, until we are far away. Okay. Oh, by the way, I, I don't have any food. Bye. Where did he go? <laughs> He's not spotting anything without that. <laughs> Is that where he went? Oh my gosh, look at him glowing like a like an angel. Some say maybe a demon. <laughs> oh, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. I knew it. I knew it was going to be a bad idea. <laughs> oh, thank you, Impulse. Where can I get more of these things? <laughs> Am I that predictable? Uh, dude, you look when looking from way, way down here or up from there. To, wow, I'm just so dyslexic. From up there down here, you look like a shiny angel but with a oh. demon core. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going to release the wither in that bit over there. And we're going to have a line of golems over here. And I have no idea if the golems are even going to attempt to attack it, but we're going to find out. You know I just got this armor, so I'm not losing it. <laughs> but you know you know what's driving me mad is that if what? this works, why do people not do it more often? Is that a sign that this isn't going to work? Iron go Yeah, that is a sign that this isn't going to work. <laughs> but, like, iron golems are so overpowered. Well, I'm, I'm a little worried now. <laughs> hey, should we get some snowman down here, too? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Right, if you set it off. I'm, I'm ready, I think. Oh, I forgot I have the key. Okay. All right. Come on. You can do it. Oh! Do it. No! Oh, I'm, I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run. Go, 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 go. Okay. Okay. Do you have more iron for way. more golems? I forgot to set my spawn. There we go. Oh, yep. Yep. That's a good idea. So now we just need to get it to come this way. What, what if it goes the complete opposite way? <laughs> it should It should go after us, I hope. Yeah. I hope come so. Come on. This is... You want me to lure it? Oh, Mr. Weather. Oh, hey, hey, Mr. Weather. How are you? He's here. He's here. Wait, wait, I think I can, like, hit him. Dude, I'm getting hits. I'm getting hits. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm bring gonna him die. in. Bring him in. Bring him in. Bring oh, him in. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm so scared. I I'm panicking. I'm sweating. Oh, I'm hit. I'm hit. Quick, I'm quick. Hit. Get back. Get back. Okay, he's almost here. Oh, this is Man, oh, still Scott, this is, Scott, this is so easy. Oh, no, he's it's in. never easy. Go, it's never easy go, until go, it's not. Go, go. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, wow. Why do you look so much oh bigger? Oh my goodness. Why do you look it's being destroyed. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're a genius. <laughs> oh my. Why does nobody do this? I don't know, but I think you're a uh, 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 Minecraft genius. I'm actually at a loss that this actually worked. <laughs> I doubted you, to be honest. I will admit fully that I doubted. There was full doubt. I, okay, so let me let me make this clear. That you deserve the diamonds. Will, uh, Almost certainly people do this, but I've not seen it. I don't see people do this. Not on the Hermitcraft server. Do you know? Have you ever seen people do this? No, 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 no. I usually die about 20 times at least. <laughs> oh, I got really unlucky. Let's split the diamonds. Wait, is that just a single diamond? <laughs> there was just a two single diamonds. It's so unlucky. Oh. Well, thank you for this um, uneventful. Maybe maybe people don't do this because it's, it's not Dude, as entertaining. Oh, dude! <laughs> oh, there's loads of diamonds! Wow, I'm I'm shocked that I'm still alive yeah, and have all my so gear. so easy! Just a man and his dog on a Lambo. Welcome back. Anyway, guys, I have a question for you. All the Hermitcraft historians out there, can you tell me if I have ever survived a wither fight in Hermitcraft? Go back to season four, five, six, seven, and even eight. 
and let me know. Anyway, I have been inspired. Inspired to create something in this area that I really hope that you guys don't think is boring. <laughs> oh, Green's build looks like a cat with a witch's hat on it. Anyway, we're going to get to that in a moment. Um, <laughs> that's the most random thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Don't tell Green, but I am a hundred percent gonna prank that. Focus, Scar. Focus. <laughs> but as I said, I want to take something boring in Minecraft, like a Nether portal, and I want to make it cool because I've got a vision for what a cool Nether portal can be, and I love taking boring and mundane things in Minecraft and well, trying to make them look nice. That is what we're gonna do today. Also, have I told you we're gonna make a cookie empire? Nobody ever expects a cookie empire. Some of you might be asking, but I thought we were going to work on the interior. And that is a valid question, as I did mention at the beginning of the episode. But for our elven tree and our survival basin shops and cookie empire, I want this to be a really, really awesome interior that has a beautiful organic flow to its layout. And I quite frankly don't quite know how to make that work. And I just don't want to do something that doesn't look great just to make an episode. So we're going to let that one simmer and work on what's currently inspiring us. By the way, I forgot to tell you, I organized our storage area because the old storage area was in line with our build today. But look at this. Everything is nicely tucked away and organized. Like, look at this. We got some wood here. We got some more. OK, don't look at that chest, please. Divert your eyes. More organized wood organics. I think we got food here. Got graystone. We have our stone. There's no such thing as graystone. That's whatever it's called. Copper. We got our moss blocks. And uh, yeah, it's nice to have everything at least organized for an episode. When we build our mega base, I'm making the greatest <laughs> item sorter of all time. Actually, I'm going to see if a hermit will help me, but I'm going to watch him and I'm going to enjoy it. This is the cutest thing I have ever seen in Minecraft. It's a little baby wandering trader llama. Oh, look at his little feetsies. To get started, we need some obsidian. And this might very well be one of the most satisfying sounds in Minecraft. Listen. Ah, uh, that's nice, isn't it? Here we go. Ah, absolutely beautiful. All that time harvesting obsidian gave me a lot of time to think about this build, and I've got even more ideas. Cool pathways, ponds, mushrooms, and a whole bunch of other enhancements that I just came up with for the portal. So with that, my friends, let's jump into super fast build mode and build ourselves one super awesome, not boring portal.
Rebirth Path build mode, and we have got our landscaping and build nearly complete, and I think it's looking really cool. I really hope it's not boring. That's probably the title of today's video. Is this a boring build? But anyway, guys, because it's just a nether portal, but I really tried to make it a little bit special here. So we've got our outstretched tree here. We've got the rock formation. It really does feel like maybe like some kind of ancient, um, you know, magic happened here. And once we do get the portal lit, I think these uh, crystal blocks here will give it a little bit more of a like a 3D nature to it to look like the particles are kind of coming further out from the portal. But uh, the tree with its kind of gravity as it stretches out over the rock and all the different colors in here we have so many beautiful things in minecraft these days it's just a sandbox of possibilities with colors and textures and i had an absolute blast here so we got our little pathway that leads around the tree two beautiful new custom trees and then we do have a pond over here now i do want to add some more details to this like some fish floating in it or some wait no no that sounds wrong no no the fish are swimming and they're healthy and they're happy and alive <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I want to get some more plants from the luscious caves here, um, but I don't have those yet, but they'll come. Anyway, down this pathway, we've got some of our bamboo shoots. We have some additional mushrooms there, and then the pathway leads all the way over to the tree. And if Green and Mumble want, we can continue the pathway over to them. And of course, if Azuma does also, we can connect a really cool path network throughout all the homes in this area. And uh, yeah, this was... This was fun. Like, this is something that I just love to just sit back, relax, and just landscape. So I had a most relaxing, wonderful time putting this all together. And uh, I hope you guys did too, watching the time lapse come together because it was kind of like watching a speed painting, in my opinion, watching the time lapse back. But uh, yeah, absolute blast putting this together. I cannot wait to fly so I can see what this looks like from a further perspective. But this leads me now to the question is, how does one light a portal? <laughs> it's been like three years since I linked portals. So yeah, I might need some help. Who you get a call when you need some Minecraft technical advice? Kaffan, Kaffan. Speaking of him, he's right there. Look at this. Look at my gigapies. Look, look, look at this. It's all I eat. Oh, you love to see it. I need technical advice. Okay, I'm your guy. I'm your guy. Cub, this is advanced technical Minecraft knowledge needed here. Are you up for this challenge? Are you capable of linking Minecraft nether portals? Yeah. Yeah, I'm an expert <laughs> in linking portals, man. I know you can. Been I've been linking portals since the day I was born, man. Dude, the last time I needed help was like three years ago. And oh, he's already in. I didn't even need to go any further. So up here, Cub, I've got this portal yep. here. Okay, it looks okay. dangerous. There, it is a mob trap, so be very careful. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> that was not not an intentional design feature. Oh, oh, it's bad, Cub. Oh, it's so bad. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's. Oh man. Oh, okay. You hit me we more than this. him, but that's fine. <laughs> so yeah, I know to light this. Obviously, I have my flint and steel, but in the Nether. This is the part that I forgot how to link it. So what do we do to link this properly? So you got to build another portal at the coordinates this portal is at divided by eight. Oh, okay. Now I remember you taught me this in like season five. My memory cup, it leaves a lot to be desired. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, man. That's okay. You so wanna, should I light let's it? See. I would wait to light it. So yeah, so let's let's mark these coordinates. So it's 1693. You writing this down? I, I've got a, a, a case for my headphones. It's a Baby Yoda case, but that's about it. I, you open the mouth yeah. and the headphones are in there. It's the cutest you, thing ever. Yes, you don't want to spend too much time here. There's a there's very smart zombies that sometimes come through portals here. Don't let Spleef. me know about that. Just kidding, bro. Are you serious right now? I wasn't going to do it. I don't know. Those elf ears got you looking awfully suspicious, man. Those look, ears can be a little suspicious. suspicious. A little sneaky, they can be. I, I agree. Okay, Cub. All right, Cub. You're yeah. the one with the big brain. You do the maths, okay? Okay. Okay. 1,600 divided by 8. All right, let me do the math. Hang on. Hang on. Put me put me in a box so I don't die. Okay, put I'm putting in you in a box. Here. Okay, Scar, you can bust me out. Bust right, me bust out. Bust you man. out of the math chamber. This is where big yep. brain thinking takes place. All right, and then right, right, right here is our first block. Wham. Yep. And there then we're go. gonna make Etho just proud. <laughs> He's gonna be so proud of us, Cub. Look at this. Look at this. We didn't waste a single block of obsidian. Yeah, we got got the good grass and stuff there. And yeah. bam! Hopefully Boom. this takes us go home. Through. Cub. Oh wait, you gotta light the other one too. You gotta light the other. Oh, one. where am I going, Cub? Uh oh. Uh oh. 
No! Where did we end up? Oh, uh, we end up in a cave with some sheep. So if I light this one right now, Cub, will that um, connect to our portal we just made? Yes. Okay, you didn't sound super confident, but I'm going to cross my fingers. Okay, yeah, here we go. I mean, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, all right, let's go. Do you see let's those go. mushrooms? Look at those. Very pointy. Oh, dude, this is a really scary. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we got to make this a little more secure, I would say. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Cross your fingers. All right. All right. Yes. <laughs> yes, it worked. Thank you very much. Every time, Cub. You could go back to every season. Anytime I've needed a link, you've linked it up for me. And I appreciate it. You are my only hope, Cub fan. 135. <laughs> Cheers, dude. Cheers. Cub is a scholar and a gentleman. So a huge thank you for him for helping us with that. And that is my first actual portal since season six. So that is pretty cool. Anyway, over at the pond, we still do not have any swimming fish and uh i haven't found the small leaf drip leaves so we need to find those because these are too big <laughs> but anyway now that we completed our portal i'd like to move on to our cookie empire that is right the cookie empire is something that i want to get started with and we need two villagers to make this happen so the question is, who has villagers? And I'm pretty sure Tango and Impulse do. And maybe, just maybe, they have a villager breeder. Let's take a peek here in Impulse's base. What in the world? So this one's the no entrance employees only door. Oh, come on, Impulse. Really, you're gonna hide it like that? Any villagers in here? Hmm, no. Okay, okay, okay. Where do you keep those villagers? Ah, oh, another door. Let's see. Entry. See? See, it says entry. Is there any villagers home? No, no villagers home there. But this looks like trapdoor. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Hello? Okay, there was nothing good there. Hmm. <gasps> Wait, <gasps> that's floating villagers. <gasps> A breeder. And there he is. Now, the question is, how do you get into this amazing starter base? Knock, knock. Hello. Okay, this place is a bit of a parkour challenge. <laughs> oh, there he is. What? Ah! Oh, Tanko, hello. I was just doing a bit of maintenance on your floor. You, you had a bit of a hole here. Oh, maintenance where I was standing. Interesting. You know, Tango, with your boy. absence the last the last couple of days, I, I've been maintaining the place, washing the windows, uh -huh. keeping the keeping uh -huh. the plants alive. Yep, yep, just doing I, a bit I, of maintenance. I, I appreciate you maintaining the floor underneath where I'm standing. That's good. Oh, you know, I do what I can, Tango. Oh, I seem to have lost a piece. <laughs> So, Tango, I've come here for a business proposition. Hi. Okay, step into my office. Oh, can this we just speak for a office. moment besides business? Yeah, what's up? The base. It's the base. beautiful. The base. It's beautiful. You I'm, like it? Imaginative, wonderful, organic, all the wonderful things. I'm super pleased with it. Thank you for saying that. Now, to business. You got a bit of a villager breeder out back, I noticed. Well, I sure do. And sure I'm do. in need of two villagers. Would you be able to part oh. with two? Hmm. I'm making a cookie empire. A cookie? Cookie empire? Mm -hmm. Do I get free cookies? You get 250 free cookies. <gasps> Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. Take, take, take four if you need them. But Tango, Excellent. thank you so much for doing business with you. Very My wonderful pleasure. base. Have fun with those cookies. Goodbye. Okay, put the block back. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Whoa, it's a big jump. Oh, it's a big fall. Didn't realize it was that much of a distance. <laughs> Somehow I need to get these two villagers over to the tree. How I'm going to do that? I'm not entirely sure. Working on making a bit of a rail line that I think we can get right inside of the tree. Bridge complete. Now all we need is the rail. Rail line is now complete. You, sir, are now part of the Cookie Empire. Kind of was hoping he would take off and ride away, but uh, yeah, didn't. Kind of anticlimactic. There he goes. <laughs> Goodbye, have a great time. All right, now we just need one more right here. How do we do this again? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And this is such a genius system. Oh, wait. There it goes. Oh, there goes another one. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Where? <laughs> Did you not see me? I've been standing here a while. No, no, no. You heard about the Cookie Empire? Nope. Oh. Where are you off to? I'm uh, just trying to get a good vantage point. Why? 
Oh, oh okay. no, this is bringing back flashbacks from last life. No, I it know what you're doing. To you. <gasps> no, no, I know. I know. I've seen these things. I've seen these things. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen these things. <laughs> You've been boasting about your MLG, your oh, MLG uh, skills. Yeah, how do I unhook this? Oh my god. Can you Hello? do it? Hello? <laughs> Hey! I'll pretend that I didn't die, nearly die. Ah, okay, okay, do it again. I'm gonna show you that I have MLG skills. Here we... Oh, you're gonna go up a little higher? You ready? Just a little bit higher. You ready? I took off my boots! <laughs> yes! Oh! oh no, the track! Oh no, the breeder! Oh no! <laughs> the villagers! What? Oh no, there's zombies in my tree! Ah! <laughs> Oh shoot, I forgot there there were zombies in there. Oh, please be safe, please be safe, please be safe. Yes, okay. Okay, everybody's safe, everybody's fine. Okay, okay. All right, friends, friends, friends. Temporarily, I know this is gonna be uncomfortable, but I'm gonna put you in a box. It'll be okay, it's a nice box. It's an important box. Now it is time to elfify these villagers here. We've got our ears. Let's set down the dispenser. Pop in the ears. And now we've got the button and buy them. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. That is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> that actually looks really good on them. Wow. And one for you. <laughs> oh man, I cannot wait for our little cookie empire and our base here. And if you have any fun ideas for this interior, let me know down in the comments. And this has been a very weird video, but I have absolutely loved it. We've hanged out with a ton of different hermits. We built out our portal here. We have a beautiful landscape. And I had an absolute blast, and I hope you did too. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar and I. Oh, it's really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos. If you believe the videos are rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't subscribe because you may just become scarred for life.